Hello, I'm Colin Daly of Campbell Scientific in Logan, Utah. In this video, we'll update the operating system for a CR6 data logger. The data logger operating system, or OS, is the collection of instructions and processes necessary for the data logger to do its work. It can be thought of as a library. When a data logger is programmed, it refers to this library for the how-to information necessary to complete its tasks. Campbell Scientific is continually working on improvements to our data logger's OSs. As additional features become available, you may need to update an OS. Today I'll be using a CR6. The procedure I'll show you is similar for other CR basic data loggers, such as the CR1000. The latest operating systems can be downloaded from Campbell Scientific's website, www.campbellsci.com. Choose the Support tab and Downloads. Navigate to the Operating Systems for the Data Loggers category. Navigate to your Data Logger model, a CR6 in our case. Click Add to List. Log in or registered if you aren't already. Enter your contact information and submit. Check your email for a message from support at campbellside.com. Running the downloaded file will also update the data logger support files, such as the help and precompiler for the CR Basic editor. Now that we have the operating system, we need to send it to the data logger. There are several ways to do this. Today, I'll be showing you two. First, we'll use the Send OS tab in the Device Configuration Utility. This is a good method to reset the data logger back to factory defaults. I always do this when beginning a new project with a data logger that may have been used previously. For this method, you need to connect your computer to the data logger directly, not over a telecommunications link. The second method I'll show you is sending an OS to a remote data logger, one that's already deployed and could be on a telecommunications link, such as a cell phone or an IP link. Launch the device configuration utility. Select your data logger from the list. We're using a CR6. We've already installed the USB drivers, then connected the USB cable from our computer to the data logger. Other CR Basic data loggers will also need 12 volt power. Go directly to the Send OS tab. This method of sending an OS will delete all settings and programs. If you want to easily restore these, use the backup data logger feature. This is an optional step, but I'll walk you through it. Make sure you have the USB drivers installed and the right COM port selected. Connect. Go to the Backup menu. Choose Backup Data Logger. Click Next and Finish. Now disconnect. Let's go back to the SendOS tab. All data and programs will be lost at this point. The data logger will be set back to its factory defaults. For CR basic data loggers other than the CR6, you will need to remove power from the logger. Not cycling power for these loggers is one of the most common errors people make. Device configuration is waiting for a sync byte that the data logger sends when it first powers up. Start. Navigate to the new OS. By default, it will be in the C, Campbell Sci, Lib, Operating Systems folder. This is where the CR1000 and other CR Basic data loggers get powered back up. The time it takes to actually send the OS has been sped up for this demonstration. It will take a few minutes for the data logger to configure the operating system. While this is happening, the activity and power LEDs will flash. Wait until the activity LED is not blinking and the power LED is on solid before proceeding. When it's complete, we'll click OK. Now we'll connect so we can restore the data logger. Select the backup menu. Restore data logger. The last backup you saved is automatically selected. You can, of course, choose a different file. Click Next. Settings are restored. Then Files. Click Finish. Connect to the data logger again. Here you can see the operating system version and some of the restored settings. 
We'll go to File Control, where we can see that the same program is running as when we backed up the data logger. That's it. Use the Backup and Restore features of the Device Configuration Utility to streamline getting your logger up and running after a full factory reset and OS send.